Okay, so imagine building a family home in less than two days and at a fraction of the cost. Crews in Texas are doing just that. They're using 3D printing technology. CBS 4's Omar Villafranca takes a look at this new approach in Austin. This just isn't, isn't a, a technology that's going to help a little niche of the way we think about children. This is a paradigm shift in the way we build houses. Yeah. This technology starts with a one ton 3D printer, which squeezed out enough concrete to build a small two bedroom, one bathroom, single family home. Oh. It's a house printing robot. <laughs> it's a Jason Ballard is co-founder of Icon, one of the companies behind the project. This house right here was printed in 47 hours at quarter speed. At full speed, could have printed this house in 11 or 12 hours. A home in 11 or 12 hours. And that's on version one of the yeah. technology. And it's designed to take families that have been living in tents or shacks and to bring them into what we believe is a, is a beautiful home that they can build their lives on for the next few decades. Brett Hagler like runs the nonprofit News Story. He's hoping to bring this technology to poor communities in El Salvador by the end of next year. When you see a home like that, do you get excited about the future? I do, I do. I'm excited about everything concrete. All right, so you're going to add your cement? University of Texas engineering professor Reza Douglas Ferran is an advisor on the project. While she sees the potential for 3D printed homes, she questions how the concrete mix will stand up over time. Is there enough data out there saying that these kind of homes can be safe? No, <laughs> there's yeah. not, there's not. Does the building of these homes need to wait until there's data or do the homes need to be built and then study the data? You, you have to do them both at the same time. If we wait until there's data in order to build it, um, you're never going to build it. ICON will use this model home as an office for the next few years, while third-party labs test its long-term durability. We're going to make ourselves the guinea pigs before we put another family's life in the mix. And this particular design has limitations. Utilities like electric and plumbing still need to be installed outside the walls. Right now it's just going to be a novelty. It's just going to be eye candy. Even if all goes as planned, it will likely be years before 3D printing becomes a mainstay of U.S. residential construction. Omar Villafranca, CBS News, Austin, Texas.